Okay, can I just get this verification again? You want to write it down right now? I'm oh, but I want to hear it too. So this door that opens up back here right, and gives you in. access to the washer and dryer is not sufficient. You said you want these units moved where? Outside? Anywhere you want to put them to, they're accessible. Anywhere you want. Outside, inside, wherever you want. So you want the washer and dryer taken apart, correct? Yep. Yep? Yes. That's the only way you can work on them. Correct is if they are uninstalled, you do realize that I paid somebody to install these. So you want us, the homeowner, to uninstall them so that you can work on them. Correct. Correct? Yep. Yes. Because these shelves that remove and that door right there in the back that gives you access that's is insufficient for you? Yes, it is. Is it because you're larger than that door? If that's what you want to assume, if that's what you well, want to Well, I'm not say, assuming. You're, you're, the the one that you're, said, the that, you're the one that said... You're the one that said that that door that opens up isn't going to be good enough for you. Correct. It's not going to be good enough for us. And that's all we're going to tell you at this time. And I ain't going to go any further with it. I love it. Okay. I'm just wondering how you stay in business if you can't you'll, you'll, you'll work on out. a washer and a dryer it's where they're located. I'm not going to go there. You went there, buddy. <laughs> you went there. You did absolutely Thank nothing. You. You're no better than the last appliance store. You guys just don't want to work. Exactly. You expect people to uninstall their appliances in order to work for them. What's the name of your company? Rick's. Rick's Appliance. Rick's appliance. Rick doesn't even put it on his door because he knows that his business practices are substandard. Bye, Rick.